So welcome back to my video. So today is gonna to be a super short one-ish, a what is in my gym bag video. I've seen a lot of people do these kind of videos. I've seen short versions on like TikTok and Instagram. It would help if I had my gym bag. In the morning, which is the time that I train now, I do put a scoop of this in my water bottle, just with plain water. So this is from a brand called Mayo. There you go. This is from a brand called Mayo. Now I did do a collaboration with this company a few months back now actually, but this is plant-based, all completely plant nutrition, and it is BCAA, CBD, and glutamine. And I usually put like half a scoop in my water bottle in the morning, mix it up, and then drink it, kind of sip it through my workout. This is pineapple and peach. So BCAAs are obviously branched chain amino acids. They help with things like muscle recovery, muscle retention. You know, when you're building muscle and you're tearing muscle down, they help keep everything intact. This does help with my energy levels as well, especially because I don't eat before I go train because I do wake up at like six in the morning. The next thing I have is my hip thrust or let's say barbell pad. This I don't keep in my bag all the time depending on if I'm actually doing hip thrust or not. Some days it's sad though because I will plan to do hip thrust and I'll actually forget this because it is a little bit big and you know, you can't really fold it and stuff, but you don't really want a flimsy one, especially when you're going heavy with hip thrust. So I got this from Amazon from a company called Amanax. I'll link this in my Amazon store as well, so definitely feel free to check that out and support me if you want. This one's really good because it has two like two velcro straps around it which you do have to take on and off um but once it's on the barbell it's on the barbell but it's really thick it's got a lot of cushion this has never come out especially because it has these straps on it whereas if you just put this on your barbell sometimes when you're going heavy it sometimes might come loose you can obviously use this when you're squatting as well i don't really use a pad when i'm doing squat the pads in the gym are really flimsy and just really rubbish and i used to use a yoga mat for a while but that's just really inconvenient as well. Some of them are really thick. Literally can't do hip thrusts, heavy hip thrusts, without using a barbell pad because I will get bruises. So yeah, this is a really good, good one. It doesn't, it just about kind of fits in my little drawstring bag, but I do have a big one that I take sometimes. Okay, the next thing I have, these are another essential, my lifting strap. Here we have it. Again, I get everything off Amazon and these are from a company called Elite Body Squad. There you go. People usually do this with makeup and I'm here doing it with like lifting straps. <laughs> Lol. These are really good. They've got these like little grippy, grippy things on here, which are really good. And I've had these for a while actually, and they still haven't actually disintegrated or messed up or anything. I do throw these in the wash sometimes as well because they are fabric. They can go in the wash. Um, and I've thrown them in the wash a few times and they've actually been completely fine. But obviously these help lift heavier. Again, as you go heavier, I only use these for deadlifts, but you can use these for literally anything. If you're using like a heavy dumbbell or if you're like on the seated pull down machine, anything like that if you go really heavy and you struggle with grip obviously you can use gloves or you can use chalk but I do find straps really really convenient so yeah these are really really good again I will link them below but check them out so the next thing I have is similar to lifting strap but they are my wrist straps now these are a little bit battered and bruised more than anything and they are velcro and they open up like this go around your wrist like this and you flip that over to make sure you don't like hit your face and you want to make sure it's nice and tight and you just kind of wrap it around and it just velcros up now these are a little bit old so they are getting a little bit the velcro comes a little bit loose but you just kind of pat them down and they're like this i would do them a bit tighter if i'm lifting but i use them on my lower body and my upper body days and i've been wearing these for a few years and i haven't really had any tendon issues since and my osteopath when he was checking out my wrist did recommend these as well so again um these are really good even if you don't have wrist pain they're just good to support your wrist again if you struggle with kind of grip strength things like that or if your wrists are a little bit weak then they might be good so these are my amazon shop as well they're pretty cheap everything's pretty cheap and good quality as well so these i literally don't go anywhere without so kind of the main final thing is a skipping rope as well again i will link the 
brand below. This is from um, Rush Athletic, who's a really good skipping guy on social media, on Instagram, on YouTube. So this is my rope, which I take everywhere. The gym does have some ropes, but they're not scaled to my height. So these, I've actually put knots in them, and this is like perfect to my height. So it's probably the only form of cardio that I actually do. I hate cardio. Apart from walking, I do like hiking and walking, but skipping, I actually quite enjoy, and it's something that burns a lot of calories and it's a great form of cardio but you don't actually have to spend hours and hours doing it you can literally even like I only spend about anywhere from 10 to 20 minutes skipping at the end of my sessions and it gets me like tired it really strengthens up my calves as well my wrists so it's a really good kind of form of cardio if you're still struggling to find a form of cardio that works for you maybe try skipping rope very very in inexpensive you can do it outside you can do it in the gym those are the main things I don't use a lifting belt just yet I don't really use chalk or anything i'm pretty simple when it comes to my fitness really i don't really like spending a lot of money on unnecessary things and that is mainly everything that is in my gym bag there also is all those little accessory things like obviously deodorant or like perfume random crap that you really don't need to know about also have an umbrella in here because i walk to the gym it rains in the uk all the time airpods airpods are really good my savior i do use my kind of beat headphones as well but since I bought Air airpods the music I can really feel it in my head another little accessory thing a little clip what are these called like crocodile clips I don't know I think these are all like back in fashion and stuff and I bought like quite a few I'd love to have like one that matches all of my outfits that is everything in my bag again like I said nothing crazy but it might give you a little bit of inspo especially on like the straps and the barbell pads this is more of like a simple girl gym bag starter pack don't forget to subscribe follow me on my instagram and my tiktok if you want more kind of workouty videos but until then i'll see you on my next one